What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. And Mike, and this high school football preview video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company. Compton is preparing for this football season, but not at Compton High because they have to move to Roosevelt because of the construction on campus at Compton. But head coach Calvin Bryant, he's got his team looking ready to go this year. They're all over town in Compton right now. Cali B has the numbers back up and the beef up front to compete for a more league playoff spot just like they used to every year. A few solid performances in the spring has everybody, including us, very excited for this season for the Babes. One big reason for that excitement is the return of running back Deion Johnson. As a junior in that spring season, he really had some breakout performances against Wilson, against Milliken. Bryant even compared him to a few of the great running backs he's had in the past coming out of that double wing form formation, bunch of running backs in there, a lot of movement, trying to hide the ball, and he's a game breaker, as you'll see in this touchdown against Milliken towards the end of the season, where it looks like Milliken's got him dead to rights, but he shows his strength, his competitiveness, and his speed to make a great play. Well, that's why Cali B is comparing him to greats like Donald Green, James McConaughey. Those are really big names. The other star on the roster, Aava Lilo Maiava, he is not going to leave the field much this year because he can run the ball. You'll see him at quarterback, where he's also got a decent arm, JJ. He's been getting Utah and New Mexico State looks, though, for being an all-more league linebacker. Him flying into the frame right there, number 44, breaking up that play and causing the fumble. I think we'll be calling his name a lot this season. Tyshawn Dejon also taking some snaps there at quarterback, handing off to guys like Johnson and Eric Barrios. The special teams have been a focal point during the offseason for Compton because more than a handful of games have turned on special teams' mistakes for them in recent years. And as we said, the boys up front are back in blue, JJ. Compton has some great size and experience in the trenches. Did not have everyone at the practice that we were here, but if you watched our videos of them in the spring uh, and you've gotten to see those guys in action, you know there's a reason they're excited for Samson Tupuola, Elijah Martinez, a four-year varsity starter, Kingston Moe, Brian Solis, and Johan Tumu Mose Laulusa. Yeah, we talked to Samson at the photo shoot, and he said they're really excited to just be able to have guys go up against in practice. Sometimes that is the difference. <laughs> Absolutely. Defensive line, it's going to be a lot of that same group of guys leading the way, but they also do have other rotation players who can come in and make sure that those big guys are fresh in the fourth quarter. That improved depth is also something that's got everyone salivating for this season up in Hub City. Compton has been starting their practices with conditioning, sprinkling it in during practice with conditioning to do exactly that, Mike. Be ready for those fourth quarters. Be in better shape for those fourth quarters this year. They still don't know where some of their games are going to be played because of that on-campus construction that we mentioned. They will play Centennial and Dominguez for that Hub City Championship and some other city section teams. There's a buzz back at these practices thanks to the individual talent. Teams definitely should not be sleeping on Compton. They're dangerous. They're firing on auto cylinders as one group, and we cannot wait to see what they do in 2021. Thanks to all of our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center. And if you want to follow everything Compton football, you follow the 562.org.